like I don't know what it feels like to be a woman. Does it feel like you're turning into a bird, an evil bird? <laughs> oh my god! Stay grounded. What's up, you guys? It's Kenyo here. You know, I saw a lot of trends. People were doing Nigerian food mukbangs. And I said, hey, I'm Nigerian. Why, how about a Nigerian? Why, there's Nigerian people doing Nigerian food mukbangs. Anyway, so I had some food, some, some leftover food. This is like a little spinach vegetable stew. People might call it with turkey and chicken. And uh, made myself with some eba. I just whipped up. If you don't know what Ebba is, it's like, uh, it looks like grits. So you can Google grits. But it tastes like, maybe like mochi? I don't know. Like a like a slightly bitter mochi, if you know what mochi is. Pounded rice. That's like the texture of it. It's like a pounded, because it's uh, the starch releases pounded thing. So, and, uh, but anyway, it's good stuff. So I thought I'd hang out with you guys for a second, um, eat some, eat some grubbies, shoot the shoots. Um, man, life is busy. Times are busy. Um, but, but um, times are good too. Am I right? Kind of. Mm. Jacques just put out some new music. Hey, stop. <laughs> <laughs> what? Something's wrong with you. Jacques is dropping new stuff, which is cool. What, what did he drop? So, lots of stuff, lots of stuff. But, um, super looking forward to all that. Number one fan. Number one fan. It's deeper than fandom, actually. Shout out to Jack Quiz. If you see this quiz, tweet at me. Anyway, let's talk about some headlines. What are some big, big headlines? I mean, the biggest thing is the election's coming up. And um, so that's coming up. You guys got to figure out how to register to vote if you haven't already done that. I'm not going to get into any stuff on that, really. The election is coming up. You know, one thing that's making me think about is local elections. What's going on in my city? Because often we look at the big headlines, we miss the stuff that we can actually change. And often there's cooler stuff, right? You might vote for something, boom, 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 opens up a business opportunity. Boom. Simple stuff. You know, even music-related stuff. There was this one thing that passed in San, An in San Antonio, which is where I live, um, which basically allows people to perform on the streets. Um busking they call it which is big business if you're a musician being able to go down to, to go downtown set up on the street drop some drop some gits some git licks a lot of people eat at with their hands but me i don't do that because that's too much work it's too much work it's too much work and Sometimes the ebba is hot. If I'm eating hot ebba and I'm like, hey, whoa, 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 let me get this one. Oh, this is. You see, like the older, older, like people eating, like, whoa. I feel like they wait till it cools down. I mean, no, they're just fast and their fingers are burnt because they've been doing it since they were three. <laughs> Seriously, they've been doing it since they were three. Their fingers are burnt. <laughs> they can't feel it anymore. All the nerve endings are traumatized. Oh my gosh. But um, I use a spoon. And this is a more liquidy about too. Sometimes I make my about dry, 
That's actually with too much Gary. Gary is pounded cassava, and that's what they used to make Eba, which is my favorite of the pounded Nigerian substance is. Um, but um, I, I like to add extra Gary and make it super um, super dry sometimes because I like the uh, like the graininess of it. Mm. It's some good stuff. This is a quick. This is. Quick midday recharge for me. Drop a couple, drop a couple carbs in the tank. If you know what I'm saying. I'm just joking. I wonder, if, like, when I talk like that, it's like, is that his real personality? I guess so. Nowadays, it was a joke, but. Mmm. Stuff is hitting, you guys. This hitting, got a couple of Kenyo poetry books around me. But anyway, I shouldn't touch those while I'm eating. That's why I don't eat with my hands. That's why I don't eat with my, what, the, what else is going on in the world? Image and Heap, any Image and Heap fans out there? Huh? Uh, anyway, she's doing a lot of really cool live streams. <laughs> If you like Let's Go, if you like the intro to Grey's Anatomy, which I don't know if they changed it over the years, but I believe it was originally. Oh, my favorite thing right now on planet Earth. Like, I'm talking, it gets me excited. Excited. Every Tuesday and Thursday, Donald Faison and Zach Braff have a podcast called Fake Dads, Real Dads. No, I'm just joking. It's called Fake Doctors, Real Friends. And it's a podcast. You guys got to listen to it. It's an iHeart podcast. Same network as The Breakfast Club. It is amazing. It's blowing up. Yeah, iHeart Radio. Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's so funny. Zach Braff is my favorite, was one of my favorite entertainment um, people. Garden State was a huge movie to me uh, when it came out. I got a lot of my favorite songs from that movie. A lot of my favorite bands from that movie. The Shins. Iron and Wine covered a Postal Service song. Um, it, it was it was a really good movie. It was really so. And other than that, Scrubs. I actually watched. That was a bigger thing for me. Funnily enough, I love them both, but it's not from Scrubs that much. Like Donald Faison from from Clueless. Clueless is one of my all time favorite movies. Like one of my all time favorite movies. Uh, he killed it in that. Zach Braff wrote, directed, and starred in probably the most iconic coming of age movies of all time. Like, really, I'm talking about really coalescing that energy of being 23, of being, you know, an aesthetic, like, you know, because it's just weird. You know, he went back to his town. One, I mean, it was a tragedy, his mom had died, but. His friend had become a police officer. He went to this party with his other friend, got super rich, and had this mansion with no furniture. And just the weirdness of getting to like 25 when adulting, like 22, 23, like when adulting begins happening, but it's like, it's just, we don't even, like everything feels like a movie, and he made it into a movie, and he did a great job. Probably the only movie I really like Natalie Portman in. Unless you count Star Wars, but I'm not. I wasn't really. I don't know. You didn't like Black Swan. Black Swan didn't make any sense. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't make any sense. I was hoping it was gonna make some sense because it seemed cool. <laughs> I don't even remember what happened. I just remember she was sleeping and some stuff started coming out of her back, and I was like, "This is a really long music video." <laughs> With no music. <laughs> yeah. No. But um, I guess if you were like if you were like a girl and you were really big fans of Natalie Portman and Mila Kunis, I might that's kind of a coming of age experience. Like I don't know what it feels like to be a woman. Does it feel like you're turning into a bird, an evil bird? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. Ooh. 
Man, man, man. That's how you know <laughs> the stew's hidden. But, um, yeah. Got some bone. A little piece of drumstick in there. Nigerians, we just chew bone. Some people say, oh, I got a bone. Nigerians say, oh, I got a bone. Anyway, you guys are getting the silly version of me. Thank you so much for watching this mukbang. Uh, my food's almost done, so I'm almost done. Like I said, this is a midday. I'm moving through, moving on to. If you want to see what kind of stuff I move on to, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. And also check out my um, podcast. Oh, I was talking about the Scrubs podcast, uh, Real Doctors, Real Friends. It's, it's amazing, guys. I also love, because um, I love films. Like, I, I watch, I used to watch a lot more films, but, you know, after you've seen all of them, now you just have to stay current. So, I, I look around, though, for new stuff that's coming out that I think will be aesthetically pleasing. And you really do just have to wait a couple months for something new to come out that'll literally blow your mind. These days, I find whole, some of the stew burnt to the side, and I find, like, those kind of, like, burnt ends to be the most delicious. And it's not weird either, you know, it's just simple science. The water's evaporated, the volume's decreased, the ratio of seasoning is higher, so you're literally getting a potent saturation of foods. Anyway... Um, so I'm, I'm huge into film and, um, and, uh, I love to see all the behind the scenes. Like I learned so much from hearing actors describe their experiences. It literally makes it for me like, oh, I don't have to do that because, or I don't know. I feel like when I, like, if I really enjoy experience, I feel like I'm the one experiencing it. I was one thing for me, like people, I know a lot of people, they like were watching TV and they're like, oh, I don't see any characters who are like me or whatever. I thought every character was like me. You know, I, I easily identify so, Superman, I was like, look at me. Look at me flying. Batman, I was like, look at me. Look at me with my great technologies. Spider-Man, I was like, wow. All this swinging around stuff. I think I can come up with a better technology than this. Which is a real question. You got some resources, um, Spider-Man. I don't know if the whole swinging around thing really makes sense. And spiders don't swing around. Monkeys do. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I get the web part, but I mean, swinging around agilely like, you know, a low canopy, e <laughs> a low canopy lemur, you know? Oh my god. Get those delicious, potent crusties, the last bit of the stew. Mmm. Mmm. I'm done, though, you done know. Well, thank you guys so much um, for hanging out with me uh, while I do this mukbang. And um, I hope you have a great week. Please check out the Real Doctors, Real Friends podcast. Follow me um, here. Subscribe here. Visit my website, www.kenyo.org. Subscribe to my podcast, K-I-N-Y-O-H-Q. And um, click next so you can see the other stuff I'm up to. I'm also trying to find a good outro. Like, all right, y'all. You done know. Big ups. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Oh, I didn't even pray. You know what? This is a good time for me to address this. The Bible actually says. <laughs> this is why no one watches my mug things. Um, you know, just whenever you're full, you should thank the Lord. So technically, the prayer is probably better after the meal. I'm just saying, I don't want to blow up the whole mukbang community. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for today. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for blessings. Thank you for this food. I pray that it blesses and nourishes my body. Thank you from whence it came, which is ultimately you, O oh Lord God. And I pray that you help us, all of us on this planet, and especially me, 
on my day to day. Help us to provide for those who do not have. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for eating. See, I wanted it to be epic, but I couldn't come over. So I'll just I'll do it like this. All right, y'all. Keep watching. Keep stopping. you to think dark thoughts by keeping you focused on the blazing trail of progress. We will topple giants and watch them fall, and won't mourn the graves of the Goliaths because they were tyrants. I will love Mother Nature as if she gave birth to me 23 years ago, and feel her heartbeat through the asphalt over the sounds of cars and radios. It seems like every day there are new options on the menu, but the poor still aren't getting fed. So I will suck the light from the shadows and hand you a straw too. And we will pridefully pursue every obstacle upon bended knee as we humbly peruse time's library of infinity. Looking for just one more piece of bread for the hungry.